Hi, I'm Matt Art. And I'm Bart Taylor. Welcome back to another First Time Camper video. This time we will talk about and extend the slide outs. We use several slide out systems in our RVs and all use the RV battery to power the motors and extend or retract the slide room. Let's go over some important operating tips before extending the slide outs. Slide outs are large and heavy and require a lot of power. Be sure to have a fully charged RV battery at 12.6 volts. The RV must be leveled and stabilizer jacks extended to prevent any binding and unwanted damage. Make sure the room has the clearance outside to fully extend, all parties are clear, and all body parts are out of the way of the slide room. Do not ride in the slide out when extending or retracting, and do not step on the floor of the slide out when the room is retracted. The slide out floor is not supported by the main floor, and stepping on the floor may cause structural damage to the slide room. And if possible, look to make sure any cabinet doors, drawers by the slide outs are completely shut prior to extending. This isn't always possible, so it's very important to make sure all doors and drawers are latched and secured when retracting the slide out. And now that we've covered the do's and don'ts, let's fully extend the slide outs. There are auditory clues in addition to visual when the slide room is fully extended or retracted. Typically, on a through-frame system, you will hear some clicking at the end. Once you hear that, release the button. On a cable system, you will hear the motor winding down or groaning. On an in-wall system, it makes a similar sound as it seals shut. You may see the lights dim as well inside the unit as the slide-out seals. This is normal. For more information on the slide-out systems, please review your owner's manual, which can be found digitally on our website. Now that the slide-outs are extended, it's time to take a break. We'll see you next time where we hook up the water supply.